friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we'll do a detailed faq on the vivo s1 so vivo s1 is the latest uh, device from vivo in india and in this video we'll talk about uh, the different aspects of this device so we have been getting a lot of questions on this device so we'll try to uh, answer all of them uh, in our detailed faq so similar to other devices we have done uh, this faq will be almost like a 20 point faq we'll cover all the almost all aspects so let's get started with the faq on the vivo s1 first step let's have a look at the sensors available on this device so we have installed the sensors app so let's just uh, open the sensors app here so you can see that uh, the device has all the basic sensors included accelerometer magnetic sensor gyroscope light proximity and uh, steps counter so all the basic sensors are included on the vivo s1 now let's moving on to the display quality now this device comes with an amoled display so that's one of the highlights of the device you can see that the display quality as such looks really brilliant uh, and uh, the quality uh, looks really great colors are vivid and uh, you can also see the viewing angles are really good touch response also feels pretty smooth there is a pre-installed uh, screen guard on this device and uh, we also get this notch display now talking about uh, uh, whether there is any protection offered on the display that's what we don't have any clarity so we haven't got any uh, any update uh, on whether there is a uh, gorilla glass support on uh, this display so we'll confirm with uh, vivo once again and uh, we'll uh, update uh, if uh, the device has indeed uh, gorilla glass uh, any protection offered now moving on to the sim cards the phone comes uh, with a uh, dual sim cards and there is also support for sd card so uh, we have a uh, dual 4g support and uh, there is also volt support and you can also expand the storage uh, with uh, the sd card there is a dedicated sd card on offer on the vivo s1 now this device is offered uh, in uh, multiple variants we are not really sure about the variants but the one variant which we have has 128 gigabyte storage so that's the storage offered on the vivo s1 now talking about the fingerprint scanner so uh, similar to the v series this device also comes with a in display fingerprint scanner so we'll just uh, test out the in display fingerprint scanner so there you go you can see it's very fast uh, in unlocking and the experience is also really good on the vivo s1 now talking about the face unlock so we also done a detailed video on that uh, so here you go you can see again it's a very fast uh, face unlock similar to any vivo device it's extremely fast in unlocking the device now next software so similar to any vivo device we have this uh, fun touch os and uh, we have plethora of options and modes uh, to choose so we also get the dark mode on this device and other apps uh, and features include smart motion smart mirroring one handed mode s capture mode app clone smart uh, click so these features are included and uh, we have uh, uh, additional options like motorbike mode ultra gaming mode is also included and a lot of customization options are also included so it's a feature rich ui uh, and this is on top of android 9.0 so ui is pretty smooth on the vivo s1 now moving on to the performance side so this device is powered by the helio p65 octa core processor which is a relatively newer chipset and you can see the benchmark score for this device it's it's a bit close to uh, the snapdragon 660 in terms of performance you can see the uh, snapdragon 660 was also closer to this and uh, this is in between the helio p70 and the p60 and this is a, a pretty good processor in terms of uh, the performance aspect in day to day usage it was pretty smooth no lags so here you can see that it's pretty smooth in switching between apps as well and uh, talking about the gaming experience this is one area where this device was not really the best out there because we have seen uh, the snapdragon 712 710 uh, the snapdragon 675 so these the uh, uh, processors have been uh, uh, providing a great gaming experience so when you compare with that the helio p65 is not really uh, the best out there in terms of gaming while gaming was quite okay we have also done a detailed gaming video you can also check out that video to get an idea about how good the gaming experience is so overall we feel the gaming was quite uh, above average but uh, definitely not a class leading one now moving on to the battery so this device has a, a large 4500 mAh capacity battery and it also has 18 watt fast charging so charging time is around 2 hours and 5 minutes uh, took from 0 to 100 percentage so we also done a different video on uh, the charging time and also the battery performance so you can also check out that video so the charging time was around 2 hours and 5 minutes and uh, the performance is pretty good we can get around uh, 9 hours on an average again this is an approximation because uh, vivo does not allow you to measure the screen on time directly from the interface so we are using third party apps so that's the the battery performance on the vivo s1 and it also has 18 watt fast charger which is bundled with a box next moving on to the speaker performance so we'll just play uh, a track uh, from uh, youtube's uh, library just like we do for all the devices so we'll just play this track
so uh, the speaker output uh, was not really the best out there uh, if you compare with other smartphones in this price segment we would say around a uh, 15 percentage uh, uh, lesser than those devices so generally uh, we do get a uh, pretty decent performance from most of the vivo smartphones but here the output was definitely uh, on the lower side when you compare with other smartphones and even the vivo z1 pro now talking about the LED notification, so we'll just uh, connect this device to a charger and uh, see if there is any LED notification available. So there you go. So we just connected and you can see that uh, there is no LED notification on this device. Instead you get uh, this uh, charging, uh, uh, when you charge it uh, you get this uh, charging mentioned. So there is no LED notification on the Vivo S1. Now USB OTG is definitely supported on this device, uh, you can go to the settings and uh, enable it from here. If you go to the more settings, you can uh, see the option to enable OTG is also included. So uh, th that's the option if you want to connect uh, com other computer pay difference. Next uh, let's talk about camera to API. So this device uh, does have support for camera to API, that's what uh, this app says. You can see full uh, support is included. Uh, we tried a lot of um, camera, uh, I mean uh, the Gcam APKs, neither of them really worked. One of them had a uh, uh, working uh, uh, outdoor mode that is uh, the regular mode and also uh, the selfie camera but portrait mode was not working on that build. Uh, a lot of other builds were not really opening but uh, this app says that uh, camera to API full support is included. So probably we might have to wait uh, for a stable build uh, uh, on uh, this device but there is definitely support for camera to API. Now talking about uh, the Widevine L1 support, so that's one thing which a lot of users have asked us. So you can see that, so it's L3 support, uh, the security level is L3, so there is no L1 support on this device. Now also talking about the camera, so this has a triple rear camera, so we have a, a primary a 16 megapixel camera, secondary a 8 megapixel wide angle camera and uh, also a third uh, 2 megapixel depth sensor LED flash is also included. So we have done a detailed camera review to, uh, uh, to get an idea about how good the performance is. You can also check out that video. Uh, so overall we feel the cameras are kind of uh, not the best out there. Uh, here are some samples you are taken uh, uh, with uh, the Vivo's S1. So if you want a more detailed view on the camera, do uh, check out our camera review where we have done an in-depth uh, video. Now a couple of things which is missing uh, on this device is one there is no night mode, there is no electronic image stabilization offer. So these are the two things missing and also there is no 4K support on the Vivo S1. So these are again the three things which are missing on the Vivo S1 camera. Now a lot of uh, users have been asking us what is the build quality, how good is the build quality on this device. So it's made of plastic material. We have two colors, the skyline uh, blue variant and also the diamond black. So diamond black definitely looks great. You can see that uh, the pattern. So in our uh, like one and a half uh, weeks of usage, so we didn't have any sort of major issues here. You can see that uh, the build quality is uh, quite good. But again, this is plastic material. We'll have to wait and see uh, how long uh, it will last. But uh, looking at the build quality is definitely solid. Uh, but uh, plastic do get uh, scratches easily. So we'll have to wait and see how that uh, works. So that's the build quality on the Vivo S1. So that was the detailed FAQ on the Vivo S1. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you still have anything to ask, you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.